Sandra Louisa and this is the Let's Paint Club. So to, for today's daily art tips I'm going to briefly talk to you about setting up your workspace ready to paint. It just kind of sounds, well why would you need to talk to me about that? I just set up my stuff and off I go. But there is something that might be worth taking note of depending on whether you're right or left handed. Let's have a look and see. To set up your art materials before you start is really important, that way you're organised, you're comfortable, you're ready to go. So if you're left handed you would need to have everything on your left hand side. If you're right handed like I am, I would need to have all of my equipment and materials on the right hand side. And the reason for that is, well, if you've been working hard at drawing your picture out and you're part way through painting it or whatever stage you're at with your painting, you don't want to spill any paint or water on this when you've been working so hard on it. Now you can see the amount of times I would have to, if I've got my kitchen towel and paints over here and my palettes over there, you're going from one side to the other constantly and the risk of dropping paint and spoiling your picture is very high. And I do see that quite a lot. Um, I've seen it quite a lot over the years with people that are painting so it's such a shame if you drop paint on your picture it's not always easy to get it off without ruining your artwork so do make sure you've set everything up that's your water your brushes your paints palette test paper and everything that you need including your kitchen towel have it on the correct side that you work so if you're left-handed it all goes on your left side right-handed on your right side and you'll avoid any disappointment or spoiling your work okay So there you go then, just a tip there to remember when you're setting up your artwork. And the other thing is, you could always set up your artwork first and then go out for your daily constitutional, your lovely walk around town, get some fresh air, a bit of exercise, come straight back and you can crack on with your painting without any faffing about. It's all done, it's all been ready, you just got to get on with it then. So why not try that as well if you want to get motivated set it all up first, off you go for your walk, get some fresh air, feel inspired, refreshed, come back in, grab a cuppa and get straight to the paintwork. Take care, see you again soon and don't forget to like, follow, share and subscribe, it all helps. Thanks very much, bye for now.